You wanted to see me, Chief? Ah, Detective. Just the man I was looking for. Chief, not gonna lie to you. This case has been a real pain in my ass. I haven't seen one like it in about 20 years. Well, good, because I've decided not to assign any help for you. This time, what? I think you can go alone. Alone? You've proven yourself, Detective. Now, let me find your case study. It's in here somewhere. Ah, yes, there it is. Your case study. I want you to this solve is... this, Detective, and I want you to solve it fast. Any failure will result in you living on the streets and your children being burned. Chief, I don't know if I can do this. Detective, you will do this. I won't let you down, sir. I know you won't, Detective. Thank you. Good day. Excuse me, miss. I'm sorry, I thought you were a woman. Oh, yeah. Hello there. Almost didn't see you. My name's Tarleton Pennywhistle. I'm going to be walking you through uh, some of the detective Solana's sociological errors he makes throughout the uh, time that we're following him. This man has no education in sociology, but I myself do, and I have found the advantages of it. That is for sure. The first error Detective Salami makes is one of sexuality and gender. Our Detective Salami mistakes somebody's gender not once, but twice, the first time doubting himself. He notices a person with long hair from behind with a thick rear end and just makes the assumption that that is a lady. Upon that person turning around, they see a facial features for what they believe is a male. That is not okay, because he says, I apologize for misgendering you as a female, I thought you were a male, when in fact, Detective Salami had just misgendered them for the second time and was corrected. The solution to such a dilemma? The first thing you should do to a person is not gender them, nor should you ever assume somebody's gender. If you're unsure, ask in a polite manner. I think that is a solution Detective Salami should have used, and if he had been educated in sociology, he would not have made such a mistake. Such is a value of living and taking a sociology class. Excuse me. I have a couple questions to ask. Uh, I need a little bit of information. Yeah, I saw some suspicious activity at 69 Blunt Avenue. Ah, good, good. Uh, what kind of suspicious activity? I heard a gunshot. A gunshot? So, what, what else did you see? You heard a gunshot, did you see? See anyone running? Did no. you smell anything funny? I saw a gunshot. I heard a gunshot. Okay. And a dead body. And a dead body. Yes. All right. Thank you for your cooperation in this investigation. Um, please, I will give you my number. Give me a call if you see, hear, or overall need anything. Good. Thank you, officer. You have a great day. You too, sir. I see you are a connoisseur of uh, stuffed meats. So, um, so uh, I've been talking with the community, and uh, I've I've been hearing there's some suspicious activity going on. Did you hear about the murder? Well, I uh... wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you are you Polish? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. What's your name? Ethan Kowalski. All right, ski. You're dumb, not gonna talk to you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What'd you say to me? Sir, 
Please take your wiener out of my face. Oh, hello again. How do you keep getting in? I might need to look into that foot. Regardless, Detective Salami has made yet another mistake. This one more boneheaded than the last. Detective Salami made the grave mistake of making a racial remark by assuming a man is not intelligent because of his Polish heritage. Yes, sausage was misspelled on the bag, and yes, this young man was sitting very close to cocaine and bullets and didn't notify the authorities, but the indication that this man was not intelligent was based upon his race, and that is not okay. It never is. I think this goes without saying, but sociologically, racial remarks are bad and should never be made. Detective Salami should know this, and he would especially know this if he had, per se, taken a sociology class. Well. So, uh, I've been talking with the community, and uh, I've, I've been hearing there's some suspicious activity going on. Did you hear about the murder? Well, I did hear that gunshot that you guys are talking about. Yeah, I did see that uh, some conveniently placed cocaine and bullets and stuff down yonder. You, you said know? cocaine and bullets? Yeah, yeah, cocaine and bullets. Yeah, yeah, they're about that way somehow. Yeah. So that way? Okay, thank you. Uh, how, how far that way? Uh, about, I don't know, about three sk skips and a couple hops, you know? Okay, okay, thank you. And then, so you didn't see the person who had the coca bullets? No, no, I just saw it was this. It was you just saw some coca bullets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, sir, thank you for your time. You have a good day. Thank I will you. give you my number if you need anything. There you go. Thank you. La, la, la. There it is. Two bullets. Uh, 5.56 caliber, AR-15. 55 grain. Um, made in Kentucky. And then we got some 2.3 grams of cocaine. Oh. oh! Appears to be a uh, Argentinian snowflake. Yeah, that's good shit. That was smuggled across the border. I'm going to take this evidence. Oh. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to take this evidence right now. what you hear about his detective salami in his case all right detective salami has made a third mistake and that mistake well that was an issue of deviance versus crime detective salami saw a young man holding a skateboard next to the no skateboarding sign located at the church parking lot and very violently and angrily reacted improperly and assaulted this man swore at him i shouldn't say assaulted but apprehended him with unnecessary force. The man's skateboard was on the ground. He wasn't skateboarding. All he was doing was standing there. Now, let's say uh, a woman had called the police on him and said Jesus is watching from the parking lot as he was standing there with the skateboard not doing anything. Well, that's a, that's, well, that's a different matter, but Detective Swami is a detective. This young man was merely behaving deviantly, not criminally. Deviance is perceived by society and subjective, as some may say, whereas crime is relatively cut and dry. Now, Detective Salami should have known better and would have known better if he was further educated in sociology. Time for round three of this. He should have taken sociology class, shouldn't he? He would not have made such a mistake. No, he would not. Don't mind, please see yourself out. I'm going to change the locks because you're not getting back in.
you. Uh, so, you say anything suspicious lately? Anything that to do with the murders that have been on the news? Well, I haven't really heard anything, but there is that conveniently placed note card on that bench. You did a great job tonight, son. Thank you, Officer Salani. I'll never forget you. Did God's work tonight. Thank you, sir. Knows me. Son of a bitch is trying to play. <laughs> Penny whistle. Detective Salami. Just the man I was looking for. Have a seat. Can I offer you a beverage of any sort? Have a seat, sir. Allow me. Thank you, sir. Of course. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, you're excused. No, oh, all right. Well, what brings you to this part of town? Um, well, there have been a couple, um, couple what? A couple murders, and um, all right. So I think a that couple murders. A couple. Okay. And um, I read about actually, there was one. Oh, you saw the news, probably. I'm glad you got your act together. All right. Uh, 69, um, Blunt Avenue. You familiar? You familiar with that address? I mean, it's right down the street there. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Scary. It's scary stuff. It's scary. Happening, yeah, happening in the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. You're in the but neighborhood these days. We found two shells. Two shells. Two shells. Five, five, six ammo. Mm -hmm. Um, and we ran the serial numbers. We ran all the specs, mm -hmm. and it's come back to this address. Isn't that kind of um funny? Yeah. That was my rifle stolen? I, I haven't you opened my gun me. safe in so long. I, I, it must have been stolen. Or per, or um, you still you still uh. Well, you, what you still uh, use cocaine on, um, my friend? Cocaine. I. It's been since the eighties. Of course not, sir. <laughs> well, we found a, a pretty large quantity uh, at the crime scene, and sure. I just remember back in the eighties, you were you were a dog. Well, I just want to get this straight. Not only. Are you accusing me of murder, but you're also accusing me of relapsing into cocaine addiction? I have never. Also, what happened to that cocaine? <laughs> it, it was, uh, <laughs> it was, it was properly disposed of, um, by professionals. doesn't feel like a Wednesday.